Pinoy Bix. Welcome to Pinoy Bix. Okay, our problem state that five different mathematics books, four different electronics books, and two different communication books are to be placed in a shelf with the books of the same subject together. And the question is, find the number of ways in which the books can be can be placed. So first, uh, let us find the number of ways each can be arranged. Okay. For the number of ways the book in math can be arranged, so you can use the concept of permutation. Since um, mayroon silang uh, sequence, so permutations yung ating uh, ginagamit at lahat sila ginamit. So, for the number of ways the book in math can be arranged, so we have okay, five factorial. So meaning to say they can be arranged at first five times four, since ginamit mo na yung isa, then times three, times two, and times one. Okay, using all uh, that is the that is the basic principle of counting. And for the number of ways the book in LX can be arranged, so we have 4 factorial. And for the communication book, so we have, since dalawa lang naman sila, so 2 factorial. Next is we need to find the orders of the book. Since mayroon tayong tatlong book, so, ang order niya, so we have tatlo, so 3 factorial. Okay. Pwede kasi mauna yung, uh, yung math, o kaya mauna yung ele electronics, or mauna yung communication. So, ang order nila, so 3, so wag, nauna yung math, so matitira dalawa, so times 2, then yung huli, times 1. So, 3 times 2, times 1. So, it's this equivalent to 6. So, uh, we, although we can check. So, for example, ma mauna yung ating math. So, math okay, math lx com then math com LX. So, pwede na mauna yung LX. So, we have LX Electronics Math Then, COM. Pwede, pwede na LX COM Then, Math. Okay. Pwede rin naman mauna yung com mat and lx or com lx then mat so total 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are 6 orders na pwede nating Majamit. Okay. Ayan. Kompleto na yung ating uh, kailangan. So, pwede na tayong mag let n. Let n equivalent to number of ways in which the book can be placed. Then, therefore, n so equivalent to okay, using the principles of counting. So, 5 for the first 5 factorial multiplied to 4, four factorial times 
two factorial. Then multiplied dun sa orders. Kasi pwede kasi magpalit-palit yan. Diba? So, sabi niya nito, pwede, pwede magpalit-palit yung mga books. So, times the number of sequence ng order. So, times 6 or 3 factorial. So, therefore, so we have so, 5 factorial. So, we have 120 multiplied 4 factorial is 24. 2 factorial is times 2. And 3 factorial is times 6. So, equivalent to 34,560 ways. And that is the number of ways. Again, finalize lang natin yung sagot. There are 34,560 ways in which the book can be. Okay, that's all for today. So, I hope uh, natutunan nyo kung paano mag- uh, mag-solve ng ganitong klaseng uh, problem. So, kindly subscribe for more upcoming videos regarding this uh, uh, topic. So, again, thank you for watching. Pinoy Bakes.